Hey there everybody, welcome back to another hair product review. Today we'll not be looking at a pomade, but we'll be taking a look at Vaseline hair tonic. Yeah, I know, the label looks like crap. That's because once you use it, it's really difficult to not get any tonic, which is oil-based, all over the bottle. And being an oil-based tonic, it scratched off the um, label a little bit. And um, in some scenes, you might notice that the label in this bottle looked a lot nicer and my hair may look a little longer and this is because tonics themselves are very versatile hair products so they have multiple uses to them and in this video I'll be covering different uses for this particular tonic right over here and I shot different I shot different scenes for different purposes on different days which is why my hair and the bottle may look different throughout this video but Anyway, let's talk about this product a little bit. It was very popular throughout the 1940s and the 1950s and even Elvis Presley himself used Vaseline hair tonic. There's photographic evidence of a bottle in his bathroom. And uh, this tonic comes in three sizes. There's the 100, 200, and 300 milliliter size bottles. I got the 100 milliliter bottle because this is the only one I can get here. I, um, here in Germany, in Berlin, I only found them in just one Afro store and they only had the 100 milliliter bottles available. If you're in Europe, you can manage to find this. Um, I heard that in the UK, my friend from the UK can find this pretty easily in some or one of the stores, I don't exactly know, but he could obtain it really easily. My friend in the Netherlands found bottles of these in one Afro store and here in Berlin, I can only find one store, an Afro store that carries um, bottles of Vaseline hair tonic, only 100 milliliter ones though. But if you're watching this from um, North America, I'm sorry to say, but currently, and it'll probably stay this way, the best place where you can get it is just Amazon because for some reason, this just disappeared from the shelves of American uh, department stores, pharmacies, or whatever. The point is, you can't find this in North America anymore, and I really don't know why. And uh, let's get to, I'll discuss a little bit about how I use this tonic. So first of all, I use this tonic as a styling aid alone. This is what a lot of men did back in the day. Some of them preferred tonics over hairstyling products like pomades and creams like Brill Cream because tonics are a lot less greasy compared to them. Even oil-based tonics, if you use a little bit, it's a lot less greasy compared to Brill Cream that even an alcohol-based an alcohol -based tonic company, Vitalis, they describe Brill Cream as being greasy kid stuff. And that is why a lot of men actually opted for using um, tonics for giving them a really smart and well-groomed look all day with some healthy shine to them. But it'll be really, really light if you use a tonic alone. My second use for this tonic is as a top coat. And I personally like to use this as a top coat because if you actually use it enough and in the proper way, then it can give you a really nice, um, shiny, and even kind of a greasy look. And the third purpose to this is using it as a degreaser. I would normally put this on my hair after the shower and leave it on overnight and if I want to degrease my hair the next day. And in this video, I'll show you how much buildup will be knocked off with many drops of tonic after 24 hours. And the final use, which I will not be covering in this video to save time, is using it as a primer. A lot of people nowadays when they use tonic actually like using hair tonics prior to using pomades because it gives your hair a lot more control. It just makes it softer and so it makes it a lot easier to style. It kind of um, keeps your hair in place where you want it when you style with pomades later on. But if your hair is at the right length, it can even overcome some of your calic problems. But if your hair is pretty short, like mine right now, it won't really solve so much of your um, calic problems just yet, maybe a little bit. But uh, the main point is that it makes hair a lot easier to go in the style you actually want it to because it actually softens your hair rub. I'll not be covering this method in this video at all because I actually did some styling tutorials in the past with um, some Cary Grant and Clark Gable Cypher tutorials, which I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to see me using this tonic as a pre-styler to putting um, pomades on them. So without further ado, 
let's get to the multiple uses of this tonic and how we'll review them for each of these purposes. Okay, so it's nighttime and I just came out of the shower and I'm gonna use some Vaseline hair tonic on my hair alone. Personally, I don't really like going out using tonic alone because it's just way too light for my hair. Just at least creams are enough because they're heavier than tonics are still quite light. I can't go out using just a tonic because it won't be enough to keep my hair in place. So that's why I prefer to just use it in my hair when I'm at home to keep my hair healthy and moisturized and soft. I leave it in overnight sometimes and so here it is. It smells like, I can't really put my finger to it to how it smells like, but it has a very oily smell, kind of like a baby powder. I'm sorry, baby oil. It kind of smells like baby oil, I would say. And when I got this, at first I thought the um, consistency would be like water, but when I poured it out, can put two drops here, one, two, no, that's three, but okay. Just take a look at its consistency. It is quite runny, but it is actually thicker than water. It is a little more syrupy than water. It's not quite as runny as water. It's um, more viscous than water, I would say. It's just a little more thick and a little more syrupy than water, but it's still very runny. So I'll just rub it in and put it in my hair. Then I'll take a few more drops right over there. Rub it in again. It just has a very, very greasy feel on your hands. And this will go on my back and sides. Just rub everything together right now. If you use Vaseline hair tonic alone, it gives you some kind of a natural shine actually. It gives you a very healthy looking well-groomed shine, but if you use it over a heavy holding pomade, its type of shine suddenly changes. It looks a lot more greasy. It looks more like a wet greasy shine if you put it on top of a heavy pomade, but if you use it alone, it's more of a drier, healthy looking shine for some reason, and I don't know why that is. But make sure when you apply this stuff, your hair has to be damp. I noticed that um, I put too little tonic in this side over here, so I'm just gonna put one more drop. Right there. Okay. Whenever I use this, my hair just becomes um, really um, soft and it feels silky smooth for some reason, especially after I leave it in for some time. And the next day, when I comb my hair, even when I put some pomade in, it just <clears throat> feels a lot easier to manage and that's pretty much its purpose. So it just kind of keeps your hair pretty healthy and moisturized when you, when you feel your hair going dry. Just put a couple of drops on your hair and it'll do its job. Okay, I found a part I'm going to style. You can see, no slickness. It just keeps my sides really poofy like that. And it obviously feels like you're combing through nothing. I mean, even though this tonic is slightly more syrupy and thicker and less runny than water, it has the hold of water. It's as if you were um, putting water in your hair and combing through it. And it has, yes, it has the hold and slickness of water, no slickness at all whatsoever. And so this is how my hair looks with just the um, tonic alone. Very, very light. Basically, you're just putting um, some kind of liquid in your hair, like a very runny liquid, like water, and 
that's basically how it is on your hair alone. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and 30 minutes since I first applied the um, tonic to my damp hair. And here's a funny thing I've never actually noticed before, because this is actually the second time I've used tonic in my hair. The first time I used tonic in my hair like alone, I didn't really notice anything, but um, right now I actually notice after the water evaporates, the shine is just a lot higher. For some reason it just looks more greasy and you have um, that a slightly wet look. I mean, it's a high shine, a relatively high shine that looks kind of wet and uh, kind of greasy, but it doesn't like feel wet at all. Like, it feels like you have nothing in your hair, but it looks like you have that, you have the shine of a pomade. And that's pretty amazing. And my hair actually did get a lot soft right, softer right now. You can see that actually got less poofier than when I first put it in, but it's still really light stuff. So this is actually one of those products where you have to wait a while before it works best. And uh, the thing is when I first put this on my damp hair, like if you put a shiny pomade on damp hair, you would notice the shine just like change right away. It just becomes like a greasy shine like that. But as for a tonic, if you put it on damp hair, the shine would just, it's hardly noticeable at all. It looks like you're just putting more water in your hair. It doesn't have the greasy look at all, but later when the water evaporates, that's when the nice um, pomade-like shine begins to come. And that is just a really nice touch and I've never noticed that before. So I'm starting to appreciate this product a little more actually. It gives you that really um, glowy shine without feeling too greasy on your head. And it just feels really soft right now. So it works at its best after it sets for a while. But I'm not a very patient person, so maybe this won't still be my best option once I go out with it. And it's extremely light. I should have applied this on dry hair to see what happens, but for the sake of saving life for this video, I won't do that this time. Okay guys, so right now I just stepped out of the shower and did my hair a build up and added just a little bit more of a heavy holding pomade. So we're gonna use the Vaseline hair tonic as a topper. I'll just squeeze like three drops onto my palms. It's really runny. Just rub it through my hands and just run it, coat it. Don't run it through your hair. Just coat it on top of your hair like this. And you're really starting to get a lot of that shine. I know before this you saw some shine of the camera, but really the camera is actually making it look shinier than it really is. For your sides, you can add just like one more drop or two. I think I squeezed a little too much over there. I'll just use it from the back as well. <clears throat> run it through, guys. I mean, don't run it through, just uh, pat your hair with a tonic. You don't need to, as a topper, I find that um, you get that better shine if you actually just pat your hands over your hair like this. Don't run it through, run it over your hair. Then we'll use the comb to distribute the tonic around the hair and this will also get the tonic to um, run between um, our scalp and the top of our hair, the roots and the scalp so that it gets a lot softer. You have better control right over here, you see. And your hair becomes easier to manage. You have that wonderful shine. This is why I love using tonics as a topper. Not many people actually do this. I'm not the only one. I actually already asked around the um, Everything Pomade Forum. Quite a number of people do it as well. But using a tonic as a topper is not as common as compared to using a light hair dressing. Well, the good thing about using a tonic, as compared to a lighter pomade or hair dressing for um, a top coat is that it gives you a lot more control and 
it doesn't only give you shine, it also get, it makes your hair easier to manage and easier to comb. It breaks it down like more. That's what you should be warned about. Don't try to add too much or else you break down your heavy um, too much. And you see I did some quick styling right there. So when you use a hair dressing or a very light pomade over a heavy holding pomade, yes, it does soften the pomade a little bit. It breaks it down just like a tiny bit and adds your beautiful shine right there. But then unlike a tonic, it does not give you a lot more control. It just makes your hair slightly easier to style, but really a tonic makes things so much easier. And as you can see right now, this is a pretty good combo. I had some quick styling, a very, very nice high shine right there that looks super um, old fashioned, like vintage and pretty classy right there. I'm feeling pretty dapper right now. And my hair feels pretty nourished and in control. Okay, now we're gonna use the tonic as a degreaser. I uh, have three days worth of a heavy belt of products. On the first day, I used Fettkop, a heavy German pomade with some Dash Short and Neat over it as a topper. Second day, Pomp's Not Dead with Dash Short and Neat. And this morning, I used some Dax Neat Waves. And I just got out of the shower to rinse my hair. And right now, I'm just gonna throw some of this in and leave it for about at least 24 hours to see on how well it'll do the job in breaking down all this pomade. So let's just two, three, four. Okay, that's, I intended to do five drops, but that was probably seven or a little bit more. Let's throw everything in. This is a bit like using it as a topper because I have heavy buildup over it, but unlike using it as a topper, as you saw earlier, um, when I applied it as a topper, I just ran it on my hair, not through it, just over my hair, but this time, I'm running it through it. You just really want to make sure that you have the tonic evenly spread around the roots of the hair to actually really get down onto the product to get rid of it. Now, because of lots of buildup, I'm just going to do the unthinkable and put a little more. Five more right there. Okay, I'm assuming that the first application was um, seven drops. It's probably a little more than that. But let's just say seven. Um, I have about 12 drops, or at least 12 drops, of tonic into my hair right now. And let's see how well it does the job in a time frame of about 24 hours. Okay, about 25 hours has passed since I first put the tonic inside my hair, and I'm already done taking a shower and um, washing my hair with shampoo. And it feels like I'm um, with just one round of shampoo and about 12 drops of tonic in there for at least 24 hours. My hair feels almost completely degreased. A good 80 to 90% of product has been washed out of my hair. So um, this Vaseline hair tonic does an overall a great job on degreasing. It does an even better job than hair creams in my experience, like Brill Cream, for example. It does a better job than them in degreasing my hair of any products. So, my overall say on Vaseline hair tonic. If you go see this, go out and get it. It's not really that easy to find. If you're in Europe, maybe you might occasionally find it. It's um, probably not too difficult to find in Europe, but in the US, you can't get it anymore. But this is really, really worth the money. It has a styling aid alone. It isn't really the best idea for me, unless for one hour, my hair starts to look a little more flat and better and a little more tight, but it's still very, very loose and quite um, messy from my hair tie, but it gives off a nice shine. But using as a topper and a degreaser is just um, a good idea. I really like using this tonic for putting a top coat for shine over my hair and degreasing my hair off product if I leave it in for some time. And also it keeps my hair really healthy, it's soft, conditioned, nourished. And if you ha find yourself having a dry scalp, this would actually do a really good job in bringing your scalp and hair back to life. And if you like this video, please 
Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.